Hi everyone, Tim Brown. Uh, this episode is going to be kind of nuts, uh, hence the, the glass of wine that I have. But basically what I want to show you uh, today is how to record with two microphones when you're using your Mac, as well as when you're using your iOS devices. So two different approaches to recording with two mics. This is kind of crazy, but check this out. So I have the Yeti over here and I have the Raspberry over here. These are going to be the two USB mics that I use. The Yeti is a little bit more powerful, but I think we can make this work. So what you need to do on your Mac is to go into the Audio MIDI Setup app and establish an aggregate. So what I have on screen here is the Audio MIDI Setup. And what I'm going to do is set up an aggregate using these two USB mics. So I'm going to go ahead and click the plus symbol and create aggregate device. And you see my audio sources in the list below. I'm going to go ahead and select the Raspberry from the list as well as the Yeti. And I'm also going to make sure they're selected on the drift correction and I'm just going to go ahead and just quit out of that. I'm now going to go over to the ScreenFlow application and I'm going to show you a screenshot of that aggregate now appearing as an option for an audio device. Okay, so now you are looking at a screenshot of ScreenFlow with a drop down menu for my audio input source and you now see that I have an option called aggregate device. This is the setup that I just made that connected the two USB mics. So by selecting this aggregate setup, I can now record with both mics. Okay, I turned my wireless mic system off and I'm now recording through my aggregate device that I have set up through ScreenFlow. And I'm actually recording right now into the Yeti microphone. And so there should be some pretty good clarity of sound. I mean, I should, my voice should be pretty clear uh, as I'm speaking into this mic. Uh, but this is one of two mics because remember I set up an aggregate so actually both US mics are connected right now to screen flow so if I go over to the other side first I'm going to back up just a little bit so that you can see that now I'm at a distance between two mics so now if I go closer to the raspberry my voice should also receive some clarity and sound much more pronounced much the same way it did when I was talking into the Yeti so now I'm a little closer to the Raspberry and you should notice that now my voice is a lot clearer. It should be much more pronounced. So if this was a second speaker speaking into the Raspberry right here, that same person would receive the same level of clarity as I would if I was speaking into the Yeti. So that's the idea behind having the two mics is that if you have two USB mics set up using the aggregate, set up through the aggregate MIDI setup app, you should be able to receive the same clarity of sound when using both mics. So now I want to demonstrate how you can use two microphones when recording with the iOS devices. Uh, what, before I actually get all plugged in, I want to show you exactly what I'm plugging in. So what I'm actually showing you here is a microphone, it's a lot of wires here, but it's a microphone called Pop Voice. Um, I picked this up actually from Bill Booz, has a really nice channel, you should check out his, uh, his channel. He does a lot of nice tutorials and reviews of various tech stuff and he introduced me to this Pop Voice dual mic lav system here and it's pretty straightforward, you just have two labs and you have, uh, I don't know, it looks, it looks like about 20-30 feet of wire, I mean it's pretty long um, and it comes with a TRS and a TRS, TRRS adapter so that it can plug into your phone. So in this case, I'm going to be using my iPhone 7S, which I'm actually using right now. Uh, so the TRS plugs into the TRS adapter, and this plugs into your your iPhone or your iPhone adapter. In this case, I'm going to be plugging this into the Lightning port to audio cable that comes with your iPhone. So I'm going to plug this into my iPhone. And this should then enable me to record into my iPhone using these two lav mics. So give me one moment to set up and then we'll test this out. Okay everyone, I'm back. Um, I now have my Pop Voice dual mic system set up. The only thing I had to do was get rid of the TRS to TRRS adapter because I'm already using the lightning port to audio adapter that comes with the iPhone. So the adapter wasn't necessary. My voice should be sounding just fine. Uh, through this one lav mic. The question is, can you hear me through the other one? I have to tell you, this is my first time actually using this, so I'm really hoping that this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down, and I'm gonna get back just a little bit, just like I did with the two USB mics, and I should be at you know, kind of a distance right now, 
But if I go to the other lav mic, the same clarity that came in through this one should also come in through this one. So I'm going to go over here a little closer to this mic, and I'm going to start to speak into this lav mic. And you should notice some clarity. If you do, then this dual mic system, this pop voice dual mic system works pretty much the same way that the USB mics did that I set up using the audio MIDI setup. Now if I come back between the two, you should hear a little bit of echo, a little bit of distance between the two mics, but if I go back to this other lab mic, you should hear some clarity in my voice, which means that, what? Both mics are working. Yay! Um, man, you know what? This was actually pretty exhausting for me. I mean, I must have went through several glasses of wine because I was stressing out over this. I didn't actually think that this was possible, but it looks like it works. I have a system set up for recording two people with the pop voice lav mics when using my iOS devices, as well as using two USB mics when recording from a Mac. Uh, this is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Mobile Podcast. <sighs> Man, I'm going to take a breather now. I actually have some wine left, so this is a good time to just chill and relax. Thank you. See you next time. Man. Mm. This is a tough one. Jesus.